What's going on guys, today I'm going to show you how to export something from Substance Painter and get it in the Unreal Engine, the texture this is obviously, get it all set up in the Unreal Engine because there's basically one big thing that some people don't know about and it can fix, you know, some people's problem. So, first thing you want to do is come into Substance obviously, you can file export, these are my default settings, um, so basically I've got PNG, I've been actually using X, was it X, uh, EXR when I do stylized because you don't get as many artifacts on flat colors but for you know something sort of realistic like what we've got going on here i just use png keys what if you want in config i go unreal engine for packed packs a really cool way of doing this because it essentially packs your occlusion roughness and your metallic map all into one um texture so that way you don't have your base color Occlusion, roughness, metallic, and normals. You don't have five maps, you only have three because it packs three of them into one. Uh, make sure you got whatever's ticked. I only ever usually use one uh, map at a time, so it's good. Set resolution. I'm just going to go 2K and I'm going to select desktop up here. So this is where you select your location. I'm just going to have it on desktop and export. Huh, suppose it didn't give me a warning about overwriting files. Already got some on my desktop. Kill. Cool. Now come into the Unreal Engine, get your model in. So if you don't have to do it, literally just click your model, drag it in, or go import and select where your model is and bring it in. Same with your textures. I'm just gonna go to my other desktop. Boom, drag those textures in. Now I've actually going to Photoshop, I want to show you what this map does. So I actually have the example already up. So this is what this map looks like. This is the packed map. This includes the occlusion, roughness, and metallic. Now, the way I remember it, because it gets sorted into RGB values. So my so because channels, my red is occlusion, my R uh wait. Yeah, sorry, yeah. <laughs> my red is occlusion, my green is roughness, which is R and my blue is metallic. The way I remember is I go ORM, so Occlusion Roughness Metallic, RGB. It's not the best acronym, but you know, it aligns with what we're using. So if I show you them separately, that's your uh, red map, so your Occlusion, because they're all black and white maps, so you can do this, or Substance can do this because, you know, you can have black and white in three different values because of RGB. Um, so green map, uh, Roughness, and then your metallic for your last one. Super cool, I love it. I think it's a really neat way to reduce, not only reduce the file size because you've now only got three textures, but it sort of just makes it easier for your um, your material as well. Now setting it up. So you can right click, if you've ever got a base material, you can always right click your base material, go create material. I'm just gonna call it gun, with two capital letters in it for some reason. I don't know how I did that. Um, open that up. So if you right click your base and go create material, always connect it to your to your base color, right? So now drag in your normal and your packed map. And again, like I said, so we'll plug in our normal map to here. And like I said down here, I remember ORM. So occlusion, roughness, metallic. You don't even need to remember an acronym if that's even what it classes as. Um, I just, it's just easy for me. Now. This is actually going to be incorrect. So if I click apply, I'll show you what it looks like. Ooh, got pins and needles in my left leg. That's great. All right. Plug that in and it doesn't actually look too bad. But this, here you go. Look how shiny this is. This is clearly incorrect. It looks like it's been left out in the rain. Right. The reason for this is because this map here. So our packed map should be RGB, not sRGB, which is what defaults, which is what UE4 defaults it as, like sRGB. So click your texture. You can either click it in here after selecting it, or you can click it here, bring it up. And you want to go sRGB and you want to untick it. Now there's probably a way to default this in Substance to not um, have it as RGB, but I'm just showing you basically what it defaults at. Now it will say error. The reason for that, it actually tells you down here, is it should be linear color. So click it, uh, sample type color, click that, linear color. And boom, click apply. 
actually one thing I like setting up as well, so that's fine, this is perfect, but one thing I like to set up is I usually connect this to a multiply. I S left click for a scalar, I call this uh, brightness. And this is such a simple thing and it can really, really help you out. Because um, instead of having to adjust the brightness of your textures in substance and re-export them, I now could just change it. It, it is costing two extra nodes, but it's not too much. Um, I can now right click this, material instance, throw that on, wait for it to load. 13 shaders, it looks more hologram. Um, well, hologram material thing. And look, so we got, it's not too shiny now, it's actually what it was in substance. And yeah, depending on your lighting conditions, obviously metal shows up differently. I've got a, um, a reflection capture sphere here. If I turn it down, you can see. And yeah, if I come into the instance, I can actually change the brightness. Just a small thing I put in. You don't need this. It's just something I like having. So I can, if I'm like, oh, you know, that's too dark, I can go like that and up a little bit. Or if I say, oh, it's a little too bright, I can drop it down a little bit. Just because it saves a little bit of time of re-exporting it from Substance. And yeah, that's how you set up the three textures, your base color, your normal map, and your ORM, your packed, you know, occlusion roughness, me uh, metallic texture, how you set it up in the Unreal Engine. Hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this helped some people out who didn't know why, especially if people who connect it all up without realizing that you had to turn off S RGB and you had to set it to linear color. So for those people, I hope this really helped you out. And again, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.